This is my first time using my homemade lathe. This is the first pass. There's a lot of issues, but I'm in the process of trying to fix it. So. Right, so I um, recently completed the long travel and fixed the spindle so it would operate correctly. Um, but when I first when I done my first cut, um, I realised that through here isn't sitting correctly. So every time you go all the way forward and then start to come back the bed would shift and it would allow it to move around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of square stuff, not this big, this is just a, as an example, and I'm going to hinge it off here with a bearing, and the bearing will sit in a bit better. What I'm going to do is I'll allow it to, to clamp the rail here, bringing it, bringing it flat one on both sides, so there'll be one here and one here, and then it'll roll a lot better, and I'll just put something like a, a bolt so I can tension it through here so it'll, it'll spring, and then when, I'm, when I finish it and get it working, I'll just put a bit of angle over it, it's all a bit flat, oh, you won't see it, so it'll, just, it'll, it'll hide that away, um, so yeah, that'll, that'll hopefully fix any alignment issues I've got, I'm going to do the same with the top. Turns out this is all bent, and it's got nothing flat, so it's crooked when I welded it. So I'm going to make a new bed for the top, um, and hopefully that'll work. Uh, and I'm also going to try and make um, the third bed that goes up the top so I can adjust it um, for angle cuts and all that. So, so there'll be another one going up here as well so then I'll be able to I'll be able to do fine cutting and like proper angle cutting I won't use this one but you want like this one so I've got a, got a whole heap of them yeah, I got a whole heap of um, bearings the other day I've got some square stocks more angles so I'll be fixing that soon so all this works now correctly this will pretty much go in the bin so but it works smooth I just, I just need to fix how it slides so you can I'll just shift it coming so where the angle sits so where the angle sits just here you can see it's slightly raised I'm going to fix that with the, the bearing so hopefully that'll so, yeah so it's slightly raised in there so when I stick the, the bearing in that it'll It'll just bring it down. I'll cut that off and reinforce it so it can't move around this. So that's how I'm going to fix it. So that'll, be, that'll fix my alignment, alignment issues. And then I'll probably do something similar to it through here. So yeah, I'll do something in here as well. So it'll, it'll have an, another set of bearings in the middle there. So, so yeah, this is my little update with the lathe. It works pretty well. Um, I've got to reinforce the other side, um, add some more plate and all that, so stiffen it up a bit because it shifts a little bit. So I don't like that. I need to make it so it's you know, sitting true. Yeah. This is my update for, for part eight. I will have a new video out very soon. Um, we'll be fixing the alignment issues recreating the new um, cross travel and hopefully the new head stock and all that so new tool, tool post sorry so um, I don't know if I'll be keeping 
the um, the tool post itself because I'm pretty sure that's still square. But um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to make a new one or not. Uh, and then I'll as soon as I get this all lined up and operating correctly, I'm going to um, start making the um, the flange for. The, um, so we're going to start making the flange for the chuck I'm going to build. So this is the piece I'm going to use. So I'm going to flatten that out and you know turn it down to the right size. And hopefully, I can get it fit. So that'll that'll fit the back of this. So I'll make it so it fits that. That'll be the two pieces, and then I'll make all the all the internals for it. So. So that's the plan. So in the next week or so, I'll have a new video out. So, like that. So if you like the video, like and subscribe. It really help me out. Um, see you in the next one.